hits. 87.5. Not bad for the first one. Ooh. That was 89. That, ball, that, bat, that sounded different than the other ones, dude. Nine again. Eighty-nine three. Yeah, pop, what do you mean pop out? That was Eighty-seven. I feel like it's not broken in all the way. That pe yeah. What happened to your go for you broke it? Eighty-eight. Line drive. Yeah, here. Oh. Ooh. That was one. 93. Damn. Hey, we well, gotta do one more because it hit 90. Alright, guys. So today we got to swing the 2022 De Marini CF. Now, normally I do a beginning and after, but I figured that was a lot of talking, so we're just gonna go through all of it after you see all the good stuff, after all the hitting. So, yeah, guys, this is De Marini's 2022 model. They didn't come out with a 23 model. I'm assuming just because there was so much buzz around um, the voodoo, the goods, both one and half and half. Um, so yeah, guys, like I said, this is probably one of the more the more quieter bats in their lineup, just considering how popular the Marini bats have been in the last like two years. I mean, with the voodoo one um, and the goods one piece and the goods two piece. Um, it's actually a very popular part, uh, bat on their softball line. It did come out with a 2023 CF for fast pitch, but not for, for BB core. Um, yeah, guys, so this bat is actually pretty interesting. Um, I love the way it's designed. I love the way it looks. It's got a cool little connection piece between the handle and the barrel. Um, it's actually, it, it's got their Paraflex Plus composite, which is the same technology used in their softball version of the CF. Um, the bat sounds phenomenal. Um, it looks really cool. The barrel's super big, super extended. The one thing that I, that I didn't like on the design, and this is because, you know, we swing it, we swing it once a cut about a month ago just to get some content and to just start breaking it in because we know these bats do take a minute before they're fully ready to go in game situations. Um, and the grip is already uh, falling apart. And I don't think I, I hold it that that hard to where I would be doing this, but but that was the, one of the few downsides I had with this bat um, was just the grip is super thin and it, it's pretty much ripping away as we speak. But, but nonetheless, guys, so... As you can see in the video, so let's get into more of the review aspect of it. This bat, um, it sounds amazing. It hits really well. Um, the only thing it didn't have, and this is one of those things where I don't, I just think it could be that it didn't, it's not broken in fully yet. We've only taken about 200 swings with it. Um, yeah, it just didn't have the, the exit below that a lot of these other bats have, especially on the Bean Marini lines. Um, I think it was sitting like in the, the low 90s, you know, with the, with the goods, the voodoo, you know, we were up to almost 100, and that's just with a 30 mile an hour pitch, you know. With a 60 mile an hour pitch with some actual velo behind it, I think that we'd probably be in the hundreds, but it would still be on the lower end of the spectrum compared to the rest of the Marine bats. Um, with that being said, is this a good pickup? Absolutely. I think it's really, it feels really great. The response to this is great. It feels full in the barrel. I mean, there's not a whole lot of stuff that I didn't like besides I'm just not a huge composite guy. I just, you know, there were some miss hits that I thought were a little bit boosted. There's, there's a lot of forgiveness, but then again, we are swinging a composite bat. That's, part, that's how it goes. Um, like I've said a hundred times before, I'm a super big advocate for one piece alloy. Um, and then the price point on this is pretty steep. That's, and that's just kind of been one of the ongoing issues with composite bass lately. And this thing's going for $449.95. It's pretty steep. It's up there with almost the Cat X composite. Um, so it's a lot of money. So, but if you're a composite guy and you're looking for something around this realm and this is your feel, this is what you like, I implore you to give it a shot. It does feel great. I love the way it feels compared to most composite bats. You feel a lot of responsiveness. So you know, when you square it. You know when you miss it, and that's what I really like. That's what I like to see in these bats. Some of them don't quite feel that way, and they feel a little bit on the on the cheaper side, especially when when comparing to a composite bat. So that was really refreshing to see that this bat actually shows a lot of responsiveness, responsiveness, and it feels great in the hands. Um, the other thing before we before we give our final thoughts, it is very very balanced. Um, we actually swing this up next compared to the Bone Saver Hybrid. Bones and Hybrid had a little bit more of an end load feel to it. This one was very much so much, it, it's so balanced. You put it in your hand, it feels like you're swinging a toothpick. Like that's insane. But that's kind of been the, the running thing with the Marini Bats, the Voodoo one, extremely balanced. Um, and then this one as well, extremely balanced. Um, half and half's a little different. And then the, 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 the 
the half and half. The the goods half and half is a little different, and then the goods uh, one piece is also a little bit tailoring towards. It's pretty balanced, but it is tailoring more towards an end load piece. But yeah, guys, this bat's super balanced. Like I said, design's awesome. Barrel is huge. There's a lot of places to play here. Um, but yeah, guys, that's kind of my final review. Besides the fact that it doesn't have a whole lot of exit velo jumping off, and like I said, it could just be a user error because it's not fully broken. Like I said, we've only taken about 200, maybe 220 swings with it. Um, it still feels great. It looks awesome. It swings phenomenal through the zone, super balanced. And like I said, when you make contact, it feels awesome, and you know when you make contact. But yeah, guys, thanks for checking out this video. Um, we've got plenty more bat reviews coming up. Off seasons are coming, so all our pro guys are officially out of here. So we'll be doing a lot more product reviews, bat reviews, glove reviews, a lot of cool stuff like that. Um, if you're looking to try out the CF, um, the DeMarini CF 2022, we do have some demos here in San Antonio, Texas. At a retail store, you can go in, check it out, swing it up, see how you feel, see if you like it, see if you agree with me. If you don't agree with me, let me know. Tell me I'm trash and the bat's garbage, I don't know. But I liked it personally, I thought it was a good bat, thought it felt really good. Um, if you're looking to pick one up, we do have these at Baseball Express in all sizes, range from drop three to drop 11, 12. Um, and I think they're, for BB Core, the one specifically we reviewed here, I'd have to do research on those other prices, but for this one specifically, it's going for $449.95, a steep price, but if you're a composite guy, this is something you're probably used to paying, you know, upwards of 400 plus on bats just because composites normally run that way. But but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching and, and be sure to check out our channel. So like and subscribe so you can see when our next video comes out. Um, we will be doing some A2000 versus A2K reviews. The one I'm super, super pumped for um, that I'm just trying to find, you know, weather's been really nasty down here for the last couple of weeks and I really want to do this on the field rather than in, in a cage or indoors is a Rev1X versus a Gold Glove Gamer versus, plus, versus a Heart of the Hide versus a Pro Preferred. Now those are... That's one of my biggest, because I'm just a huge Rollins guy, so I'm super pumped for that one. That one's going to be coming pretty soon. As soon as this weather clears up, um, we'll get filming. We'll get that one going. But, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll be sure to catch you in the next one.